okay students good morning good morning good morning ma'am good morning ma'am ma the last class um, starting the process part for introduction what is introduction what is the organism and uh, which type of disease is caused by this organism Staphylococcus aureus full name Staphylococcus genus aureus is species this is gram positive bacteria and then it causes to separate to infections okay next morphology uh, cocci shape clusters arrangement and only 1 micrometer in diameter and it is capsulated bacteria this is the shape of the bacteria staphylococcus aureus this is gram positive bacteria that's why this is appears to purple or white color cultural characters how to grow the uh, artificial medium aerobic bacteria and facultative anaerobic bacteria and uh, optimum ph optimum temperature 37 degrees celsius and ph 1.5 So uh, this bacteria grow on ordinary medium, nutrient agar, broth, and the peptone water. Nutrient agar, this this one. Next to blood agar, uh, colouring appearance both are same. Nutrient agar and then blood agar. So what is the difference between nutrient agar and blood agar? Nutrient agar is the uh, common medium, basal medium, or ordinary medium. Blood agar is special medium. Blood is added to nutrient agar. Next, next, this is the blood agar. The next to Macaulay agar, uh, colonies are smaller colonies uh, and pink colonies are formed because this bacteria to produce the lactose fermentation bacteria. This bacteria to produce the lactose. Okay. Next. So, uh, phenylalkylene phosphate agar next to selective salt medium. Selective salt medium only this is used for isolation and enumeration of staphylococcus from feces, food, and dust. Next, to these are all biochemical reactions. Uh, this topic also completed. Just I remind uh, catalase, positive, and phosphatase test, and uh, indole negative test, indole. Test is negative. MR test is positive. Urease test also positive. Sugar fermentation test also positive. Positive means um, this bacteria to produce the acid but no gas. Next to uh, what are the antigens are produced by this bacteria? Capsular antigens. Next to peptidoglycan antigens. Next to tricoic antigens. Okay. Capsule is made up of polysaccharides, so these polysaccharides are used to produce the antigens. Uh, and then cell wall is made up of um, peptidoglycans. These are also used to produce the antigens, and uh, these are to give uh, rigidity to the cell bacterial cell. Next, uh, this is the gram positive bacteria. That's why uh, tricoic acids are present in gram positive bacterial cells. So this is also used to produce the antigens. So these three uh, substances: capsular polysaccharides, cell wall peptidoglycans, and uh, cell wall tricoic acids are used for to produce the antigens. Next, uh, so what are the substances are present on the surface of cell wall? What are the substances? Proteins. Okay, protein A. Name. Protein A. So protein A is present on the surface of Staphylococcus aureus um, cell wall. Okay. So the special feature is 
this protein A these are able to bind to FC region of IgG antibody and then these are involved in coagulation test. Next, uh, clumping test. This is like a coagulase enzyme. Coagulase enzyme. So this is also present on the surface of bacterial cell wall. Main feature is or main function is uh, this bacteria after entry in human body, um, this bacteria it, it reacts with the fibrinogen in plasma and it converts to fibrin substance. After that, to, claw, to form blood clots, okay, clumping or aggregates or clots. So, this is the uh, detected by coagulation test. Next, what are the enzymes or what are the toxins are present in um, staphylococcus? Okay, after entering the human body, staphylococcus or is how many types of toxins are released in our body? Okay, so uh, this uh, staphylococcus aureus, cytolytic toxins are released in our body. Okay, how many types of cytolytic toxins? Five types of cytolytic toxins alpha, beta, and uh, gamma, delta, glucosidins. These five types of cytolytic toxins are mainly to lyse the erythrocytes. These are all like a protein substance, okay? Erythrocytes, rabbit and sheep and human erythrocytes also destroyed by these toxins. So, to cause the dermonecrotic diseases, neurotoxin diseases and to lyse the macrophages, physogens and the tissues also. So, uh, leukosidins also uh, to lyse the white blood cells also. Okay, these are five five types of cytolytic toxins and the other toxins uh, enterotoxin okay enterotoxin so this inter understood this point five types of cytolytic toxins are okay five types of cytolytic toxins are to lyse the erythrocytes and uh, okay Erythroc erythrocytes Next to macrophages, lysosomes, muscle tissues. These are all cells are destroyed. This one, enterotoxin, this one after entering the human body, mainly to cause the food poisoning. Okay, food poisoning. How to enter this type of toxin? Staphylococcus aureus, this bacteria present in food materials. Okay, food materials, so carbohydrate, food materials, protein foods and uh, meat, fish, milk and milk products, curd. These are all items are having staphylococcus or yes. And then after adding this bacteria to secrete in the toxin, this kind of uh, food materials. Okay. Through this contaminated food materials, this bacteria enter in human body and then to release the enterotoxin. After releasing this enterotoxin to cause the Food poisoning, this is main vomiting and the nausea and the diarrhea. Okay, next another one, uh, toxic shock, toxic shock syndrome toxin. So, this toxin, this is the multi toxin, multi toxin. So, this toxin is associated. Okay, understood my point. If the toxin is associated with the cytolytic toxins to cause the erythematous rashes, erythematous rashes and uh, hyperemia next to edema okay edema, edema uh, pus infections also if this toxin associated with the enterotoxin to cause the vomitings and the diarrhea okay uh, and the myelgia okay next to fever also so totally this is called as food poisoning next this toxin uh, associated with the vaginal tampons actually this is first aid in fact 1988 in 78 uh, those who are using the vaginal temples compulsory uh, they have to change the every four hours otherwise this bacteria added to or uh, attaches to vaginal tampons and to cause the vaginal infections also next exfoliator toxins this is also to cause the skin disease okay skin disease so uh, number of names are uh, number of names uh, this toxin having uh, S S S S okay S S S S four S okay step 
எனக்கு ஒக்க ஸ்கேல் ஸ்கின் சின்ரோம் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் ரிட்டர்ஸ் டிசீஸ் மெயின்லி திஸ் திஸ் டிசீஸ் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் நியூ போர்ன் பேபிஸ் ஓகே நியூ போர்ன் பேபிஸ் அண்ட் தென் ஆன் தி சர்ஃபேஸ் ஆஃப் நியூ போர்ன் பேபி ஸ்கின் டு காஸ் தி எபிடர்மல் நெக்ரோ நெக்ரோலைசிஸ் ஆல்சோ திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் புல்லஸ் இன்ஃபிடிகோ ஆல்சோ நெக்ஸ்ட் சோ டுடேஸ் டாபிக் டாபிக் கண்டினியூஷன் extra cellular engines extra cellular engine so many staphylococcus aureus uh, so many engines are produced the uh, surface of bacteria coagulase engine okay coagulase engine catalase engine hyaluronidase engine next fibrinolysin uh, engine next to lipases nucleases and the penicillinase engines these kind of engines are produced by staphylococcus aureus okay so first one coagulase engine this is main important uh, engine coagulase engine hmm? listen carefully coagulase engine so coagulase engine this is the extra cellular engine because this engine is present on the surface of bacterial cell wall okay so this is called coagulase engine so mainly after entry in human body bacteria to release the coagulase engine this enzyme this enzyme to react with say nasties to react with fibrinogen substance in plasma fibrinogen substance in plasma okay okay understood fibrinogen substance in plasma so this fibrinogen converts to converts to fibrin okay fibrin so fibrinogen to fibrin after that to cause the uh, blood clots okay clumping or aggregates this is called as blood clots hmm? blood clots how to detect the coagulase engine coagulase engine these are two types of uh, test slide agglutinating uh, slide uh, coagulase test next to tube coagulase test how many types of coagulase Uh, detection test slide coagulase test next to tube coagulase test okay so first one slide coagulase test okay slide coagulase test please and carefully and uh, write notes also slide coagulase test okay so so first of all if you colonies of bacteria which type of bacteria staphylococcus aureus if you a small amount of colonies of staphylococcus aureus added in a small drop of saline okay saline so this bacterial culture okay staphylococcus aureus bacterial culture is taken in glass slide okay glass slide and mixed with rabbit or human plasma okay mix it with rabbit or human plasma after that to cause the clumpings okay clumping so this clumpings are observed under the microscope so if clumpings are formed this is the positive reaction positive reaction means staphylococcus aureus to produce the coagulase engine okay so this is the slide coagulase test slide coagulase test next tube coagulase test same as this same okay so tube coagulase actually bacterial staphylococcus aureus bacterial cultures are grown on broth nutrient broth nutrient agar and pepton water so first of all staphylococcus aureus um, specimens are uh, added in broth uh, okay after 24 to 48 hours some some cultures are formed okay so uh, small or little amount of the staphylococcus aureus taken and then taken on test tubes okay test tubes after that 0.5 ml or 1 ml uh, of plasma is taken so both are mixed in test tubes so after that to form um, clumpings okay so clumpings are indicates the positive reaction this is the tube coagulase test so first one slide up uh, slide coagulase test next one tube coagulase test okay so slide coagulase test the staphylococcus aureus bacterial cultures are taken in glass slide and then 
human plasma or rabbit plasma is added after that to give some contents. Okay. This is the pro slide progress test. Next, two progress test. Same as this, bacterial cultures are grown on broth, vegan broth. After that, these bacterial cultures are taken on test tubes. Next, same as this, human plasma or rabbit plasmas are taken on test tubes. Both are mixed to form some clumpings. This is indication of positive reaction. Okay. So, these are the detection of Coglase test. Okay. Understood? So, extra cellular enzymes are, these are types, this one. Coglase test, catalase test, hydronidase, next to fibrinolysin, lipase, nucleases and penicillinase. These are all enzymes of Staphylococcus aureus. Understood? How many types of enzymes are present in Staphylococcus aureus? Coglase test, catalase, hyaluronidase, fibrinolysin, lipases and nucleases and penicillinase. These are enzymes are present in Staphylococcus aureus. All of these enzymes, coagulase enzyme is main important one. Okay. Because this coagulase enzyme after entering in human body to react with the fibrinogen substance of plasma and converts to fibrin substance after that to, to cause blood clot, blood clot or clumpings or aggregates. Okay, aggregates. So, how to detect the coagulase enzyme? These are two types. Slide coagulase and tube coagulase. Okay, slide coagulase means bacterial culture, cultures are taken and slide. So, uh, after that, human plasma or rabbit plasma is uh, mixed with the staphylococcus aureus to form clumpings. Next to tube, tube coagulase, both are. Both are means Staphylococcus aureus colonies and then human plasma or rabbit plasma. Both are mixed in uh, test tubes to give some clumping. So these are the detection tests. Next one, uh, the very important thing, pathogenesis. Okay, pathogenesis. So pathogenesis, how to cause the disease? How to enter the human body and then how to cause the disease? How to enter the human body, this bacteria through pustules? or through dust particles or through any food materials or food contaminated food, food particles. Okay. So, this, ba this bacteria uh, to produce the two types of diseases. So, first one infection, next intoxications. First infections, next to intoxication. Note these points. Infection, intoxication. So, first infection. Okay. Infection. So infection uh, through the through dust particles, okay, dust particles are contaminated items. Contaminated items. This bacteria enter in human body, okay, enter in human body to release the five types of cytolytic toxins, okay, to release the five types of cytolytic toxins and then five types no, no, cytolytic toxins and then enzymes coagulase enzyme also okay these five types of cytolytic toxins are to damage the red blood cells to damage the red blood cells and then um, muscles mucosal and the uh, uh, tissues also tissues also okay next to release the coagulase enzyme also coagulase enzyme also hmm? so this Cytolytic toxins like alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So, these four uh, cytolytic toxins to damage or to destroy the red blood cells, to lyse the red blood cells, to lyse the red blood cells. At the same time, to re bacteria to release the coagulase enzyme also. This coagulase enzyme um, to react with fibrinogen substance of plasma and then converts to fibrin to, to cause the blood clots. Okay. These blood clots to converts to pus infections. After a few days, these blood clots or erythematous rashes to converts to pus infections. So, totally this is called as skin infections. Okay. Skin infections. Next, intoxications. 
so intoxications are caused by caused by the bacteria entering uh, through contaminated food materials or vaginal tampons okay vaginal tampons so this if this bacteria enter in food part contaminated food particles automatically to release the enterotoxin so enterotoxin to cause the food poisoning okay food poisoning if this bacteria to release the uh, exfoliator toxin to cause the skin diseases skin diseases okay if this bacteria to release the uh, toxic shock syndrome toxin uh, to cause the vaginal infections vaginal infections okay so first infections first infection first point first one infection is caused by five types of cytolytic toxin and then coagulase agent second intoxications are caused by enterotoxin exfoliator toxin toxic shock syndrome toxin okay na this this one understood this slide understood yes ma'am hmm? yes ma'am okay infection and uh, intoxications so uh, how to cause the infections uh, infections means uh, skin infections or pus infections these infections are caused by this bacteria uh, after entering human body to release the cytolytic toxins okay alpha alpha beta gamma and delta leucosid okay so these toxins are to lyse the our red blood cells to cause the erythematous rashes erythematous rashes at the same time this bacteria to release the coagulase enzyme also that is the extra cellular enzyme this coagulase enzyme okay this coagulase enzyme um react with the fibrinogen substance of plasma and converts to fibrin to cause the blood clots so these erythematous rashes surrounding of erythematous rashes to form blood clots these are all to converts the pus infections this is the infection next in intoxication means this bacteria enter in human body through contaminated food and to uh, to release the enterotoxin to cause the food poison and then to release the exfoliator toxin to cause the skin infections and then to release the uh, toxic shock syndrome to to cause the vaginal infections so this is the intoxication next what are the uh, diseases so staphylococcus disease may be causes causes by this type of diseases cutaneous infections okay cutaneous infection so cutaneous infections these are mainly appearance of uh, uh, superficial infections so these are called as skin and soft tissue infections this one see this one skin and soft tissue infections erythematous rashes red rashes so these red rashes with pus infections are caused by alpha hemolysin toxins or beta gamma delta toxins because after entering human body bacteria to release the toxins and it lyse the red blood cells to cause the this kind of erythematous rashes so to cause these are the called as cutaneous infections skin and soft tissue infections next uh, infection skin and the soft tissue infections this is the pustules this is also pus infection next uh, this is the impetigo this is the impetigo this is also one of the skin infection this is mainly seen in children's young children than other ages this is mainly seen in young children
this is the deep infection also next folliculitis folliculitis this is the folliculitis folliculitis meaning not this point folliculitis meaning uh, actually in folliculitis meaning inflammation of follicles inflammation of follicles so follicle what is the follicle a small sac filled with fluid this is like a boil this is like a heat boil okay folliculitis abscess this is the uh, like a wound infection see this one see this one this is all red rashes this is this is all red rashes this one next to foreign this is the foreign kin foreign kin this is also like a boil so this boil to converts to pus infection this is a painful pus filled with boil painful pus filled with boil this is formed under the skin this is foreign kin next this is wound infection wound infection this is carbuncle carbuncle is uh, a group of pus a group of pus filled clusters of furuncles furuncle mean like a boil a group of boils a group of pus this is called as carbuncle this one these are all images this is osteomyelitis osteomyelitis means the inflammation of bone this one also arthritis this is bursitis inflammation of fluid filled with bursa this is present in mainly joints these are all images of infections cutaneous infections folliculitis folliculitis means inflammation of follicles okay next uh, foreign kill foreign kill like a boil this one this is the boil boil um next one carbon kill wound infection carbon kill also group of boils carbon kill is called group of boils impetigo this is also this one red rashes mainly seen in children this one next to paronychia this is also uh, paronychia meaning inflammation of nails tissue of nails inflammation or infection of the tissue of nail most of the finger nails this is present in nails paronychia mean next another one musculoskeletal muscles these are the deep infections deep infections so mainly uh, osteomyelitis see this one osteomyelitis inflammation of bone okay. osteomyelitis next arthritis arthritis bursitis pyomyositis pyomyositis meaning inflammation of uh, skeletal muscle okay so these are the cutaneous infections so cutaneous infections this one cutaneous infections folliculitis pharyngeal abscess wound infections carbuncle 
irritable paresthesia. Next, these are skeletal infections as pneumonitis, arthritis, bursitis, and the pyomyositis. These are called as deep venous infections also. Next, another one, respiratory infections. Respiratory infections, this bacteria entering respiratory system also to cause the tonsillitis, inflammation of tonsils, pharyngitis, inflammation of pharynx, next to sinusitis, inflammation of sinus, otitis, inflammation of ear, next to bronchopneumonia, to bacteria entering bronchi to cause the uh, cough and cold also. So that is called bronchopneumonia. Then next to lung abscess, next to impenia, first infections are present in lungs, next to, uh, to cause pneumonia. Okay. So these are all respiratory infections. Next to endovascular infections. Endovascular infections, bacteremia. So bacteria to spread the entire blood, blood okay, entire blood and to lyse the red blood cells also because uh, to release the cytolytic toxins. Okay. Next to septicemia. So septicemia, entire uh, bacteria to spread the blood cells and then to cause the blood infections. Blood infections. Uh, pyemia also. Pyemia also to cause the blood infections. Next, uh, this bacteria enter in uh, heart walls also to cause the inflammation of heart walls. This is called as endocarditis. And then this bacteria enter in urinary tract also to cause the urinary tract infections also. So these are all pathogenesis. And next, next one, laboratory diagnosis. Any doubts? Pathogenesis. So how many toxins are released by this bacteria? Five types of cytolytic toxins. So after entry in human body, these five, five types of cytolytic toxins are to cause the skin infections. So this, mm, these are skin, these are all skin infections. Next, after, uh, after entry in human body, this bacteria to cause the uh, food poisoning diseases by enterotoxin. And then skin infections also by uh, exfoliative toxin. Next to basinal infections also by the toxic shock syndrome toxin. This is the pathogenesis and the clinical manifestations. Next to laboratory diagnosis. Laboratory diagnosis. So what are the specimens of laboratory diagnosis? Mainly this bacteria to cause the skin and soft tissue infections. Red rashes, erythematous rashes. Next to blood clots. Okay. After few days, these red rashes, erythematous rashes, next to blood clots, these are all to convert to pus infections. Pus infections like this one. Okay, pus infections. So, main specimen is pus infection. Pus specimen is pus. So, this pus is seen in wound infections and separate lesions also. Next, another one. This bacteria enter into lungs also lungs so to cause the pneumonia and then to cause the respiratory infections tonsillitis pharyngitis sinusitis and bronchopneumonia so may another specimen is sputum okay sputum so pus one of the specimen next sputum pus is seen in skin and soft tissue infections uh, cutaneous infections. Sputum is uh, seen in lung infections. Next, blood. This bacteria enter in blood and then to release the cytolytic toxins and then uh, to lyse the red blood cells also. So, blood is one of the specimen. Next, urine. Urine. This bacteria enter in urine, urinary tract and then to cause urinary tract infections also. So, next specimen is urine. Next, another one, in severe condition, in severe condition, this bacteria enter in heart, heart at the same time, brain also. Okay, brain. So, another specimen is CSF. CSF. So, this bacteria also to cause the meningitis. 
so meningitis meaning inflammation of brain okay so another specimen is csf hmm? next this bacteria to cause the food poisoning food poisoning so food poisoning this bacteria present in our small intestines and the large intestines also so next another specimen is feces hmm? feces next next another specimen is vomiting vomitings okay vomitings so these are all specimens pus infection pus pus is means separate lesions or wound infections next to sputum this is mainly collected by respiratory system next blood because this bacteria enter in blood also next to urine one of the specimen because this is enter in urine urinary tract so to cause the urinary tract infections next is this bacteria enter in brain so may another specimen csf next this bacteria to cause the food poisoning so specimens are food or vomiting next to feces also so these are all specimen pus sputum blood urine csf uh, next to feces next to food or vomiting so these are all specimens of bacteria which type of bacteria staphylococcus aureus bacteria next how to collect the uh, these type of specimens okay all specimens should be collected in sterile conditions okay and understood all specimen all specimens pulse sputum blood urine csf next to feces or vomiting these are all specimens should be collected in sterile sterile containers sterile containers okay under the all aseptic conditions this is main point sterile con containers under all aseptic conditions okay aseptic conditions next blood should be collected uh, blood cultures bottles hmm? blood blood cultures bottles and then these specimens are um, transported in glucose broth and tarcolate broth also glucose broth and tarcolate broth glucose what is the glucose broth and what is the tarcolate broth these are two broth two broths are transported mediums transported mediums glucose broth and tarcolate broth note this points glucose and tarcolate broth both are transport medium these specimens are collected sterile containers and then aseptic conditions these specimens are added in glucose broth and tarcolate broth after the <clears throat> after that transport to one lab to another lab immediately transported immediately to lab next microscopic examination these all specimens are examined by gram stain you know gram stain you know very well gram stain okay next how to grow the this type of specimens how to grow the bacteria that is called cultural characters so these specimens are added to nutrient agar this uh, already i told this bacteria grow on nutrient agar nutrient broth and then peptone water also peptone water so nutrient agar next blood agar also blood agar so blood agar and then nutrient agar both are uh, used for growth of this bacteria and then colonies are same colonies white colonies apex colonies golden yellow colonies okay so this bacteria to produce the uh, hemolysing toxins surrounding of the toxins this one see this one surrounding of the colonies some zone is formed so this is the zone so this is the zone surrounding of these colonies some zone is formed zone is indication of bacteria is to release the hemolysis toxins this is the blood agar white colonies white colonies white opaque colonies or uh, transparent colonies or smooth colonies are formed on the surface of nutrient agar at the same time blood agar also
sometimes uh, golden yellow pigment colonies are formed on the surface of yellow bone lutein agar and then blood agar also so mekanki agar also used for this bacteria mekanki agar because this bacteria also to produce the fermentation lactose fermenting so this bacteria also grow on mekanki agar also next how to detect the bacterial biochemical reactions so catalyst test is positive catalyst test so catalyst test positive because this bacteria to release the catalase enzyme coagulase enzyme at the same time catalase enzyme also how to detect the catalase enzyme catalyst test okay what is the procedure of catalyst test first of all we have to prepare lutein agar lutein agar medium after that specimen is added kept in incubator at 37 degrees celsius 24 to 48 hours after 24 to 48 hours some colonies are appear on the surface of lutein agar so some colonies means white opaque transparent smooth colonies are appear on the surface of lutein agar okay after growing after formation of colonies h2o2 is added h2o2 hydrogen peroxide is added okay so to form some bubbles okay bubbles so bubbles are indicate indication of catalase positive test okay no bubbles this is indication of catalase is negative this bacteria staphylococcus aureus bacteria to release the catalase enzyme okay after adding h2o2 to produce the small bubbles okay small bubbles so this small bubbles are indicates the positive reaction that is the catalase is positive that means staphylococcus aureus to produce the catalase enzyme that is the catalase test so this is the one of the biochemical test catalase test is positive next another one coagulase test i told coagulase test okay so coagulase test two types of coagulase test slide coagulase test and the tube coagulase test so slide coagulase test uh, bacterial specimens are added next uh, human plasma are added both are reacted to form clumpings so these clumpings are observed under the microscope next coagulase test tube coagulase test so uh, bacterial specimens are taken on uh, test tube next uh, human plasma or rabbit plasma taken on test tube both are mixed uh, these clumpings are observed next another one sugar fermentation test sugar fermentation test is positive because this bacteria to release the acid okay acid which type of sugar is produced by this bacteria mannitol sugar okay mannitol sugar so mannitol sugar this bacteria to produce the acid so how to detect the acid form formation how to detect this one actually original color of sugar sugar media yellow color okay yellow color after adding you know procedure of sugar fermentation test you know sugar fermentation test procedure yes ma'am what is the first step of sugar fermentation test what is the first step sugar media is prepared sugar media what are the ingredients of sugar media what are the ingredients first of all pepton water is prepared pepton water pepton water ingredients pepton nacl this distilled water after preparation of pepton water sugar is added that is called sugar media next andrel reagent is added bacterial culture also added next derham tubes are added but this this is kept in inverted position derham tubes are added inverted position kept in inverted position after that arranged in cotton plug kept in incubator at 37 degrees celsius for only 24 hours enough after 24 hours we have to observe original color of sugar media yellow color if the bacteria is re released to acid acid this media yellow color change to pink color
it. So if the pink color is caused a reaction, that means the bacteria to produce the acid. Okay, so this staphylococcus aureus, this bacteria to produce the acid. But this bacteria do not produce the any gas. Okay, gas is indication of uh, Durham tubes. If Durham tube, if Durham tubes are having bubble, this is the indication of gas. No bubble, that is the indication of no gas. Bacteria do not produce any gas. This bacteria only to produce the acid. Okay, acid. How to detect? Medium is converts to yellow to pink color. Pink color is indication of bacteria released the acid. But this, this, this bacteria does not produce any gas. Because how to detect gas? Durham tubes not having any bubbles. Okay, that is the sugar fermentation test. So, catalase test positive, uh, coagulase test also positive, sugar fermentation test also positive. Next, gelatin liquefaction test also positive. Next, MR positive. Indole is negative. So, these are all biochemical reactions. Understood laboratory diagnosis? What are the specimens? Pus, sputum, blood, urine, uh, CSF, feces and uh, vomiting. So, how to collect or transport? These all specimens are collected in sterile containers at aseptic conditions. These are all specimens are added to transport mediums. How many transport mediums? Glucose broth and tarpolate broth. Okay. And then immediately transported to one lab to another lab. Next to how to examine the, the microscopic examination by gram stain. These are all specimens are gram stained. All specimens are observed by gram stained. Next, these are uh, how to grow uh, in artificial mediums. These are all specimens are added to nutrient agar and then blood agar. Next to phenolphthalein agar. Next to selective salt medium mekongi agar. Okay. So, these are all specimens are how to detect the biochemical reactions by catalase test, by coagulase test and uh, indole test but indole is negative. Next to gelatin test, urease test both are positive, MR also positive and then sugar fermentation test also. This is also positive. Okay. So, these are, these are all biochemical reactions. Okay. Next, treatment. Treatment. Last side heading, treatment. So, what are the treatment? Benzyl penicillin. Okay. Benzyl penicillin. Next, this is most effective antibiotic. Benzyl penicillin. Hmm. Next, cloxolins. Cloxolins. Next, to lat. <laughs> Vancomycin, vancomycin, picoplanin, these are all uh, medicines or antibiotics of staphylococcus aureus. This is the treatment. Note this point, benzyl penicillin, most effective antibiotic, cloxoxylins, vancomycins, Chlorhexidin. This one. Okay, any doubts? Staphylococcus aureus. A first introduction. What is the bacteria and which type of disease? This, this is the introduction. Which type of disease is caused by this bacteria? Tell. Are you there or not? It's not. Are, okay. With, uh, what is the bacteria? Staphylococcus aureus. Aureus. And which type of disease is caused by this bacteria? Staphylococcus 
infections skin infections and lesions okay these are called as separative infections separate infections and other diseases food poisoning okay food poisoning next to staphylococcus tell urinary tract infection okay staphylococcus skin scale syndrome disease and vaginal infections also so food poisoning is caused by enterotoxin staphylococcal skin skin scale syndrome disease is caused by exfoliative disease uh, toxin vaginal infection is caused by toxic shock syndrome toxin and red rashes erythematous rashes and blood clots these are all caused by cytolytic toxins and coagulase enzyme okay na? this is the introduction first time this bacteria observed in human pyogenic lesion by von recklinghausen in 1871 what is the morphology of bacteria what is the morphology of bacteria spherical in shape spherical spherical what is the size of bacteria what is 1 micrometer 1 micrometer is it capsulated or non capsulated non capsulated is it spore forming or non spore forming फॉर्मिंग phosphate agar selective salt medium next what are the biochemical reactions then sugar catalyzed fermentation fermentation okay very good next what are the antigen structures how many types of antigens are produced by this bacteria capsular polysaccharides Hmm. Peptidoglycans. Peptidoglycans. Picoic acid. How many substances are present in cell surface? Two types. Protein A clumping factor. Protein A clumping factors. Very good. So clumping factor is known as or nothing but bound coagulase. Coagulase. Okay, very good. How many types of toxins? Five types of toxins. Five types. Five types. Five types. Okay. These five types of toxins are called as cytolytic toxins. Cytolytic toxins. Cytolytic toxins. Sir, membrane damage toxins. Very good. Okay. So uh, five types of toxins are alpha. Another one. Beta. Beta. Alpha. Alpha. Delta. Glucosidase. Okay. Another toxins. टॉक्सिन स्केल्स Okay. 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 Okay.
so coagulase energy how to cause the blood clots by converting fibrin into fibrin into fibrin fibrin next this is the pathogenesis how many types of pathogenesis infections infection and intoxication so infections are caused by which type of toxins infections infections means uh, cutaneous infections uh, deep cutaneous infections folliculitis parenchymas parenchymas means boils heat boils wound infections uh, pus group of pus infections group of boils is called as carbuncle and uh, red rashes this is called impetigo or uh, paronychia you no know, inflammation of skeletal muscles these are all caused by five types of cytolytic toxins This one also. Um, this is the pathogenesis. What are the specimens? Patients. Sputum. Blood. Food. Urine. CSF. Vomiting and food. Okay. Okay. Very good. Next, uh, how to collect and transport to which type of medians? Collected in sterile containers under all conditions. Glucose broth and carcolate broth. Glucose broth, carcolate broth. Both are transport mediums. Hmm? How to detect the microscopy? By gram. Which type of mediums are used for cultures? Blood sugar, blood sugar, peptone water. Okay, okay. Next, what are the antibiotics? For treatment, benzene pencil, benzene pencil, vancomycin, vancomycin, benzene pencil, vancomycin, chloxacillin, ecoplanin. Okay. 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 Step one, two, three is completed. Next class, I'll tell strict focus biogenesis. Okay, attend your roll call one. Cam on chain, Lee. Switch on cam. Switch on cam. Jason. Number one. Number two. Two. Present man. Three. Present man. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Four. Four. Number four. Four absent. Five. Present, ma'am. Six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present, ma'am. Nine. Present, ma'am. Ten. Present, ma'am. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve, present ma'am. Thirteen, present ma'am. Fourteen, present ma'am. Fifteen, present ma'am. Sixteen, present ma'am. Seventeen, present ma'am. Eighteen, present ma'am. Nineteen, present ma'am. Twenty, present ma'am. Twenty-one. Present, ma'am. Twenty-two. Present, ma'am. Twenty-three. Present, ma'am. Twenty-four. Present, ma'am. Twenty-five. Present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Present, ma'am. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Present, ma'am. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Present, ma'am. Twenty-nine. Present, ma'am. Thirty. Present, ma'am. Thirty-one. Present, ma'am. Thirty-two. Number thirty-two. Thirty-two. Present, ma'am. Thirty-three. Present, ma'am. Thirty-four. 
34 present ma'am 35 present ma'am 36 present ma'am 37 present ma'am 38 present ma'am 39 present ma'am 40 present ma'am 41 present ma'am 42 present ma'am 43 present ma'am 44 present ma'am 45 present ma'am 46 present ma'am 47 present ma'am 48 present ma'am 49 present ma'am 49 49 what in present 50 present ma'am 51 present ma'am 52 present ma'am 53 present ma'am 54 ma'am present ma'am 56 present ma'am 57 present ma'am 58 present ma'am 59 present ma'am 60 present ma'am 61 present ma'am 63 Present ma'am. Sixty-four. Present ma'am. Sixty-five. Present ma'am. Sixty-six. Present ma'am. Sixty-seven. Present ma'am. Sixty-eight. Present ma'am. Sixty-nine. Present ma'am. Seventy. Present ma'am. Seventy-one. Present ma'am. Seventy-two. Present ma'am. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Present ma'am. Seventy-four, seventy-four. Present, present, ma'am. The okay. so absent is four. Sixty-one. Four. Four present, ma'am. Sixty-one. Sivaram Kumar, sixty-one absent. Okay. Okay, only one absent, sixty-one. Okay, leave. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Okay.